Rolls-Royce has shocked the aviation world by shutting down its electric aviation unit. Once a leader in pushing the boundaries of sustainable flight, the company has decided to step away from its ambitious electric aviation dreams. What went wrong, and what does this mean for the future of flying taxis? In this video, we'll uncover the four key reasons why Rolls-Royce abandoned its electric aviation ambitions. We'll explore what led this engineering giant to make such a surprising decision. You might be wondering, does this decision spell trouble for the future of electric aviation, or was it simply a smart business move in the face of harsh realities? Stick around as we break down the full story behind Rolls-Royce's exit and what it means for the flying taxi revolution. Welcome to our channel. Rolls-Royce, a company famous for its excellent engineering, recently decided to abandon its plans to create electric aviation vehicles. This is a big change from their previous commitment to this exciting field. Their decision was influenced by a mix of leadership changes, financial problems, and the difficult challenges in the electric aviation market. This move shows just how hard it can be to turn futuristic ideas into real-world solutions. Let's take a closer look at why Rolls-Royce made this surprising choice. One of the main reasons Rolls-Royce decided to stop pursuing electric aviation is a change in leadership. The company's former CEO, Warren East, was a strong supporter of electric aviation. Under his leadership, Rolls-Royce invested heavily in EV toll projects and made big promises about the future of flying taxis. However, when Tufan Ergen Bilgis became CEO nearly two years ago, things changed. Ergen Bilgis brought a more practical approach to the company. Instead of focusing on risky long-term projects like EV tolls, he wanted Rolls-Royce to focus on making more money in the short term. His goal was to make the company stronger and more competitive by focusing on projects that could give quick financial results. The company now wants to focus on more immediate financial goals and avoid high-risk investments. This new focus means they've decided to cut projects like electric aviation, which were seen as too risky and uncertain. Instead of trying to lead in a brand new market, Rolls-Royce is prioritizing making profits today. Ergen Bilgis' goal is to boost Rolls-Royce's profits, aiming for between 2.1 billion and 2.3 billion pounds in operating profit. With the pressure to meet these targets, the company decided that electric aviation was no longer a priority. Rolls-Royce had planned to sell its electric aviation division, Rolls-Royce Electrical, as part of a plan to refocus the company and reduce its size. This division was created in 2022 by merging the company's previous electric aviation efforts with a unit they bought from Siemens in 2019. The idea was that selling the division could help the company pay off some of its debt and raise funds. The sale was expected to bring in up to $1.9 billion over the next five years, helping the company pay down debt and focus on other priorities. However, finding a buyer for this division was harder than expected. Rolls-Royce struggled to find someone interested in purchasing the Advanced Air Mobility AAM division, which included the electric aviation unit. Without a buyer, Rolls-Royce decided to shut down the whole unit. This meant that the company officially ended its involvement in the EV toll market. Rolls-Royce also stopped working with key partners, like Vertical Aerospace and Technam Aircraft, which were important players in the electric aviation field. Additionally, Rolls-Royce stopped providing its propulsion systems for the Airbus City Airbus Next, even though they had previously supplied the system for the original version of the aircraft. These moves made it clear that Rolls-Royce was walking away from the EV toll market completely. The company has no ongoing projects or partnerships in this field anymore. The electric aviation industry itself has faced many challenges that may have influenced Rolls-Royce's decision to quit. Many companies in the EV toll market are struggling financially, which shows just how unstable and risky this industry can be. For example, Vertical Aerospace, a British company making EV tolls, is looking for emergency funding to stay afloat. This shows the tough financial pressures faced by companies in this space. Similarly, Lilium, a German EV toll maker, has filed for insolvency and is looking for new investors to keep the business running. Lilium's problems are worsened by the German government's decision to block a loan guarantee 
making it even harder for the company to secure the funding it needs. Although Lilium claims to have received 780 orders for its aircraft, these orders are not all certain, and the details about any deposits or payments remain unclear. This uncertainty shows how speculative the market is and how hard it is to rely on these orders. Another EV toll company, Volocopter, also ran into financial trouble. Despite having a reputation for good financial management, Volocopter filed for insolvency in late December 2024. The company had raised significant funding in the past, but recent attempts to get more funding failed due to worsening economic conditions. The company continues to operate while trying to find new investors to secure its future. These struggles in the industry highlight how risky it is to invest in electric aviation. With many companies facing financial troubles, it's clear that EV toll technology is still a long way from being ready for large-scale adoption. The new CEO of Rolls-Royce, Tufan Ergen Bilgis, raised doubts about whether electric aviation could ever be profitable in the near future. He pointed out that the technology is expensive to develop and that the timeline for making flying taxis a reality is still unclear. The market is still struggling to find ways to match its ambitious goals with real-world cash flow. Cities like New York and Rome, where infrastructure and regulations need to be developed before EV tolls can take off, are still a long way from seeing widespread use of electric flying taxis. With so many challenges, the timeline for electric aviation success is far from certain. Rolls-Royce's exit from the EV toll market is a dramatic U-turn from its once bold ambitions to revolutionize urban air mobility. Once a pioneer in electric aviation, the company is now stepping away from a vision it heavily invested in. Rolls-Royce believed that by the mid-2020s, urban air mobility would become a huge market worth billions. This vision led to large investments in electric aviation technology and many strong statements about shaping the future of city transport. However, now those plans are on hold as the company shifts its focus to more profitable and less risky ventures. This change in direction shows how difficult it is to turn futuristic ideas into real business opportunities. Despite all the excitement surrounding EV tolls, Rolls-Royce's shift in priorities makes it clear that the challenges are too great for the company to continue pursuing this technology. They have now stopped supporting key projects, such as their work with Vertical Aerospace, and stopped offering financial backing for EV toll developments. Rolls-Royce had been involved in EV toll development for a long time. At the Farnborough Air Show six years ago, the company showed off an EV toll concept demonstrating its commitment to this new field. Just three years ago, Rolls-Royce's Spirit of Innovation aircraft set a world record for the fastest electric aircraft, reaching 345 miles per hour, 555 kilometers per hour. These achievements showed the company's potential in the field, but even with these successes and government backing, Rolls-Royce decided that the risks and costs of continuing in the EV toll market were too high. The company now believes that financial stability and market readiness are more important than futuristic promises, especially when the technology still faces so many challenges. Rolls-Royce's decision to abandon its electric aviation dreams may be disappointing to some, but it highlights the reality that new technologies can face major setbacks. For now, the company is focusing on more immediate financial goals and leaving the electric aviation market behind. What do you think? Did Rolls-Royce make the right decision by stepping away from electric aviation? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video interesting, check out our related video titled The Untold Story of EV Toll Certification Delays. Are we really ready to learn more about the challenges facing the electric aviation industry?